Good morning, guys. I hope you all are feeling better than I am on this semi chilly uh, Tuesday morning. Rainy, 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 rainy. We've had thunderstorms through the night and stuff, and the thunderstorm had me sitting practically like, like a cat on the roof. It went off over my head, directly over the um, the cottage, loud boom. So that was uh, a lovely way to wake up in the middle of the night. Um, yes, I'm not feeling so great today. Uh, I felt it coming on past <coughs> past few days, and it really got me last. Uh, last night. So anyway, I am staying in my jammies today. <laughs> Sheep. And wrapped up in a uh, uh, my uh, afghan that I'll show you in a minute. Uh, talk about in a minute. Uh, but first of all, I want to welcome Laura Polly. Hello, Laura. Welcome to my guest book. And appreciate you so much for signing up. And thank you very, very much. Uh, so it was so fun this morning, especially not feeling well to be able to wake up and put someone new in, in my lovely guest book here. Uh, so thank you so much for um, subscribing to the channel. Uh, and so let me uh, tell you about my survival gear when I don't feel well. My headband. You see me wearing it a lot, and that's because. As long as I keep my head, my forehead warm, I don't get headaches so much. I don't know what it is. Me, cold foreheads, they don't go together very well. It's like an instant headache. So I have my headband uh, that I wear a lot uh, during the winter time, and especially when I don't feel well, because uh, it keeps my head nice and forehead nice and warm, and just feels so nice. And uh, the other thing I have is my what I mentioned before, my afghan, and this was something that I was just trying to get rid of a bunch of scrap yarn and this was like perfect for getting um, rid of the scraps and so I, I don't remember how many years ago it was now that I made this but it was fun to make and just getting everything out and I wanted something cheery so I picked out whatever colors that were bright and cheery um, so anyways basically it's a lap size afghan but um, uh, it's perfect for wrapping around yourself uh, when you're trying to film <laughs> and just snuggled up down in the in the under the covers and watching Netflix or whatever the other thing that I use and I basically use this one uh, nightly too and it's, if you don't feel well um, eye mask I knit and I've got the pot it's a drunken mask or something like that I can't remember uh, but it's a really neat pattern a very simple pattern. Uh, I got the link to it. It's a free one and I, I had just looked it up one day because my eyes were really tired and um, I just wanted something to be able to warm them up with and I came across this pattern. And this part's knit and then the um, strap that goes around obviously is crocheted as you can see from the crocheted uh, look to it. And But it's just a matter of two panels, two knit panels um, there and then crocheted together around it. You can see see the crochet chain, single crochet all the way around to hold the, the two panels in place. And it works up really nice. Uh, but anyway, um, so uh, that got a wee bit dirty, didn't it? But anyways, it's really nice, especially like if you get a headache and you can soak this in cold water and wring it out and put it over your eyes, you know, um, whatever you want. I mean, it just, it's really nice uh, for either cooling your eyes or warming them up when you don't feel well. Uh, then, let's see. The other thing I have when I don't feel well is this looks like junk. It really does. It looks awful. But what it is, it's an old pillowcase that my grandmother had. And so I got uh, the last time, I've shown this on here before. Uh, but I was feeling miserable. The last time I was feeling miserable, I took it, I cut it down, and uh, sewed it up with whatever yarn that was, or thread that was on my sewing machine at the time. Did a real crappy job of putting it together, but I don't care. I loaded it with rice, stuck it in the microwave for a minute and a half, and I have a lovely heated pad for me. 
Uh, so anyways, that's what I've been running back and forth to the microwave, heating that sucker up so I can, you know, have some nice warmth on my chest because that's where most everything's been at. Okay, so anyways, the other thing I started yesterday, which goes along with the old joke, how do you make God laugh? Tell him your plans. And my plan was to have something new up every day this week. Well, naturally, I would feel like crap by morning. But anyway, this is from the Red Heart site, um, redheart.com, and or redheartyarn.com. I think it's redheart.com. Anyway, it's off the Red Heart site. It's a free pattern, and what it is is for a little kid. It's supposed to be dual sided, so they can slide their hand up inside, and they got this little uh, turtle with little legs that are going to pop off, and it has a little tail, and uh, for them to work. Well, what happens? I run out of yellow yarn. Uh, scrubby yarn last night and I was like oh darn it so I'm thinking about just going with maybe a green belly or a blue belly since I've already got you know blue going around here and then attaching the two and you know having the little opening for the hand uh, and going that way and then hoping beyond words that parents read the warning that says do not use near private parts because it won't feel good not being scrubby yarn Anyway, and then the other part, I've just thought about, you know, the heck with turning it into a dual, to a, a scrubby mitt and just um, using it as a single-sided. And the reason I've thought about that is because, to be honest, yeah, the scrubby yarn does uh, dry faster than cotton yarn by far, but to me, if you've got a dual-sided, it, it, and It'll just take longer for it to dry unless you stick it over top of a shampoo bottle or I don't know a bath and body gel bottle or something uh, to let it dry and have it opened in the inside or else there's the possibility of you know mildew or something building up on it you know if you have it too thick and it takes too long for it to dry on it so hopefully um, just having it you know this way you know it's not so bad uh, so that's what I think I'm just going to do with it and leave that on its own. Uh, but that's it for now. I am going to go... Um, well, no, one more thing. The other thing I'm going to be doing today, so I'm going to sew the rest of the legs back on. Um, the other thing I'm going to be doing today is finishing this up because I don't have that much yarn to go before it's done. As I make a mess of everything. Hello, Rory. Rory, keep your tail out of the tea, please. Thank you. Uh, I don't have that much more to go, so I'm still just getting it down to where I have enough yarn to be able to bind off with, um, and then I'll just keep going, and then I'll show you how it'll finally look afterwards, but we're almost finished with it. And this hasn't been uh, an important project. This is just something I've been picking up, you know, when I'm bored or whatever and just want to make it but uh, so it'll be finished today to be able to wear whenever I can get back in the woods again and that's it and I am now going to go back to bed and uh, take a nap because I think the NyQuil is starting to kick in <laughs> so anyways have a great day and again uh, welcome again to Laura uh, Polly for um, subscribing and thank you so much and to all my other subscribers thank you so very much for subscribing because that just means so much and we'll check catch you later bye bye